Hello everyone, and welcome to Witch Hunt. A hardcore action game set in the 1700s in which we take on the role of a witcher and have to venture forth into a haunted forest to find and eliminate various paranormal entities for money. And from the look of this menu screen, look at that. Those dead, barren branches swaying overhead against a dark sky. Birds swarming all over. I can already tell this has the exact kind of vibe that a game like this should have. As a game taking place in this time period, I can't help but be reminded of the movie The Witch, and the very paranoid, very superstitious air that the whole thing had. It really had a way of making you fear the tree line, uh, just as settlers must have at the time. Although I'm not sure if this takes place in North America or Europe. Now I actually got this game about four years ago on sale, but I never really played that much of it. However, I'm certainly interested in coming back and giving it another try. Start a new game? Yes. When demons slaughtered my family, I decided to devote my life to fighting evil. At first, I was only motivated by vengeance, but then I met a man who showed me the right way. Recently, I heard that in a small town called Belleville, people started to disappear and were being killed by some creature. I immediately went to that town to investigate. On my way to Belleville, I was attacked by something huge. I was able to scare it off, but my horse ran away with most of my supplies. Luckily, I was able to get to town on foot. I really appreciate this waiting for me to finish reading and letting me click forward at my own pace. Wow, look at this. This is exactly the aesthetic I was hoping for. Some poor citizen hanged as a witch, although... Just how poor remains to be seen, considering witches seemingly do really exist in this universe. Then again, I suppose that wouldn't do anything to prevent the paranoia, leading to probably a lot of innocent cases nevertheless. I think I have what you need. Oh. Yes, you are indeed, but... I only have about 50 coins on me. Uh, I can buy some silver bullets, of which I currently have 15. Oh, that is so cool! Okay, so I'm thinking that the way this works is that we have all these paranormal entities, and true to lore, they can only be killed if you know the right way to deal with them. So we're going to have to actually learn through trial and error not only how to kill them, but how to survive them. Unfortunately, we don't have enough for any of the truly useful things. We could get ourselves some more bullets, but I think in the meantime, it's better that we just uh, learn the ropes first. Now, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to make a series out of this or if this is going to be a one-time thing. That's going to depend on response to this video and if you'd like to see more. Uh, we can see our inventory and skills with tab. Oh, so there's actually quite a few uh, RPG elements. Uh, as well as abilities that we can activate from here as well. Uh, Evil Sight gives you the ability to see through the eyes of a creature that you're looking for, consumes 20 mana. Ah, so we have Sight Jacking mechanics, do we? And Darkness Sense gives you the passive ability to sense the presence of powerful evil creatures. Darkness Sense radius is 500 meters. Oh, oh we already have these. Okay. And these, I guess, we'll have to unlock with time. Now, historically, churches uh, aren't just community centers, but also a place of sanctuary. And so how appropriate that it's pretty much the one building in town that has its lights on, guiding us to it. Can we close doors behind us? No. You're probably looking for Father Ludwig. Unfortunately, he got killed by that horrible beast. That's why I'm looking after the church. I can provide medical help if you need it. Uh, sure. Does that cost me anything? 
No. Okay, so we don't have any jobs that we're going to get from here so far. I know this book by heart. I suppose a witcher in this time and setting would have to. Oh, what a dreadful vibe this already has. I love it. Even if there were no enemies in this game, I would love to just walk around and explore things as they are. Maybe some answers to be found here? I just need some sense of direction. Good evening, sir. <coughs> as the mayor of Belleville, I can guarantee that if you'll really be able to help our town, your doings will be greatly rewarded, and you'll have our eternal gratitude. To get to the woods, go across River Bridge. Be careful. People have seen some undead creatures in those woods, so we are dealing with something much more sinister than just a wild beast. Good luck, and God bless you. And God bless you, too. Huh, so is this like a recent happening? I had sort of been led to believe that these are things that just exist out in the world, but is it possible that this town has itself come under some sort of curse? That's what I'm going into, huh? And it would seem that crossing this bridge doesn't make you safe. Like Ichabod Crane. Well, at least we can loot your stuff. Buy some more ammo if need be. Uh, now is there any way for me to save? I know we haven't done anything yet. Maybe we can only save at particular points? When a powerful monster is within 500 meters, I can sense its presence. People say that I possess this ability because the blood of an angel runs through my veins. Now I wonder, since I'm not all too familiar, just how much of this is lore that's made up for the game? Or what's actually true to real life mythology? Now there's an oxymoron for you. Oh no, Bella. I really hoped you had managed to run away. Its eyes have been pulled out. It's not just eaten, it's well and truly mutilated. More bullets. Alright. Well, this is what we're working with. We have uh, the gear appropriate for the time, which is a musket, uh, which presumably only fires one shot before an excruciatingly long reload time. And a similar flintlock. Now, it's at this moment that I really have to note... <laughs> uh, switching weapons is faster than reloading. That old meme, huh? I really hope that whooshing noise I just heard is the UI appearing on the left. Okay, I really... Uh, either they're doing something really, really right with the sounds, or there's something out here. Uh, we can take aim, but that's not the easiest thing to do. Hello, who are you? Uh, I imagine the musket is probably more accurate. Certainly has an iron sight, so that's good. Hello? Just heard something on my left, but I don't want to look away. Oh! Did not have much time to react there. Uh, let's see how long this reload time is. Quite long indeed, during which time I am quite vulnerable indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Uh. Oh, and I guess we can collect mana from you. Uh, what are you, some kind of undead? And what is this? Uh, save 50 mana. Oh, it costs me mana to save? I guess we'll do that. All right, so, wow, it really is hardcore. There's a cost to saving. 
We can't just save scum this. Uh... Maybe we should go a different direction from where we're hearing the howling. Oh, look at these twisted branches curving overhead. Forming a nice narrow path for me to walk down. I do have a sword, so I have no light to speak of, though. No lantern or anything like that. Man, that thing moves so fast. We are going to have to be really quick and really accurate if we want to do anything about something like that coming out of the blue. Uh, that looks to be a mutilated deer, maybe? At least the owls seem to be doing well. Wait, there's something moving up ahead. Like a little black dog, maybe? Let's uh, be ready. Nope, nope, nope. I don't want you... I don't want you going out of line. I want to be able to see where you are. And oh, you kind of blend in with the terrain like that. Hang on, wait. Notice me. I want you to run towards me so that I can quickly shoot you. Wait. Is that a... Oh, cresting this hill is not going to be a good idea, but I did just save. Maybe something like this. What are you? You look to be undead. And you're running. I don't know if that means I missed or... No! Reload! 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 And your buddy is coming back. Okay, we're not gonna have time for a reload on you, but this is so hard to aim! It's incredible how intense uh, elements like this of having s only one shot and a long time to reload can make even enemies that would be fairly simple and basic in other games feel so much more intense. But you can get that back. What are you? 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 You were like made of embers or something. You were running towards me, and I was losing health just from looking at you. Uh, it, well, I have full mana now, and it looks like I got a little bit of health left. You may have left a bloodstain on the ground, but there is a pile of bones. What creature are you even supposed to be? Uh, as a witcher, I should probably know these things, but, uh... I'm glad at the very least that my silver bullet was able to take you down. Presumably that's not going to be the case for everything. And would I be correct in assuming that my sword... Uh, which, how do I get to that? How do I pull out my sword? Oh, F. Uh, presumably this is also made of silver? What was that? Does something see me? Oh, I always love a game that can have me just looking over my shoulder, walking through the dark forest at night, thinking, what was that sound? That is how you know your game's vibe is there. No, I definitely hear you. And I can hear something when I stand right here. I'm also really... Creatures within 500 meters. Well, can it see me? Do I have a way of hiding from it? Uh... Is that water that it's near? No, it looks like it's moving on a hillside somewhere. Well, there are some pretty steep hills right here. Uh, maybe I should start moving away. I'm going to start walking along the river just so I can get an idea for what some of these landmarks are. I thought I just saw a shadow over there. Oh, probably from that bird. I really wish that I could have some kind of, like, uh, bestiary or something. Uh, to be fair, I don't know that I don't. But it says that I can press Q to open them.
It looks like there's some kind of shadow over there. Although I don't feel very confident in that shot. It looks like my health has increased somewhat. Yeah, I guess it does regenerate over time. Uh, I feel like I'm constantly squinting into the dark for shadows that look out of place. Uh, it's at this moment that even though the game is running fine for me, it looks like the recording might be having some issues, so... I'm gonna stop and take a look at that one moment, please. Alright, well, it's performing pretty poorly, but it, I can't do anything about it from in-game, so we need to save before we can go on. I'm not sure if there's a finite number of monsters in this forest, or if we really can just set forth to work and purify this evil place. Oh, look at that, the lone cabin on the lake. The low fog descended over the water. I don't know what we're going to find there, but... It's the only thing we've got for now. I'm still hearing weird sounds, which uh, I'm convinced now must be coming from the water. Is there something within? This is my kind of thing. This feels like what Halloween... Not necessarily what Halloween feels like. It feels like what those kids' Halloween specials felt like. Can I take that lantern with me, please? Uh, consume healing plant. We don't need that right now, but I guess we can fast travel? That's a little unexpected, but there's another one of those stones. We should probably save before something bad happens to us. You can't kill whisperers, the only option is to avoid them. Well, I guess these aren't the kinds of whispers I'm familiar with. Maybe that's the shadow that we saw across the water. Okay, that looks to be performing in the OBS window a little bit better now. I've gone and changed a couple of things. Uh, ooh. Uh, it looks like the occupant of this cabin wasn't kept safe in their little shelter, their port in the storm. Something pounded its way right on in. No body to speak of, though. I picked up four lockpicks, okay. And we got a map. I guess we are here. And the town is around the other side of the lake. <laughs> nope! Are you the occupant? Uh, knowing I only have one shot is such a cool thing. Not only is it fairly period accurate, uh, it also, man, it just raises the stakes so much, making it feel like any enemy can just annihilate me. I I've yet to see how much damage they can actually do by hitting me, but uh, given the nature of this game, I'm assuming I'm a pretty quick kill. We have a 35% chance to unlock this chest. And we did it! This is not XCOM. Uh, picked up a cannonball. Uh, what do we do with a cannonball? I don't think I can carry a cannon with me. Or is this game just that awesome? Black Phillip? Why do I get the feeling that the inhabitant of this cabin was at one point approached Maybe sitting on their rocking chair one day by the same goat. You're not afraid of me. You're really not afraid of me. Uh, you don't seem to be causing me any harm, though? Oh, look at the horns on you. 
real bad vibe. Isn't there... Isn't there in mythology uh, the idea that a black goat uh, was basically the eyes of Satan himself? Or even actually him? There goes the rest of our lockpicks. Or even actually him taken physical form? I feel like I remember reading that somewhere. I'm not sure where to go from here, though. We'll probably want to stay on the trails before we start exploring the woods themselves, right? Uh, from this side, that fog is so dense, I can't see a thing. Now that we've taken on some enemies, maybe we can... Maybe we can go back into town and exchange that goodwill for some money? Is that how this works? Uh, I feel like we have a save right here. Maybe... Maybe I should head back into town, taking the opposite path, and see if that's the case. I really don't feel like an experienced witcher, but uh, maybe I can start making my way as an amateur one. I'm going to show the whole walk back, because this really is... Some of the most paranoid I, I've ever been in a game, and it hasn't even done all that much to me yet. If nothing else, I absolutely adore the art style that this game has going for it. I mean, of course the characters look a little bit dopey, uh, the human ones anyway. But it nevertheless manage, manages to perfectly capture what it's going for. Did those birds take off because of me, or is there something over there? Oh, whispers. Whispers. Is that it? Oh, it's so dark. It's so dark, there's one over there, too. Do I just have to not look at them? How does this work, exactly? I can hear them on my left, too. Just gotta keep moving. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. It says we can't kill them! Ow. <sighs> Is that it? Is the attack over? Maybe they lock onto us when we get too close? What do I do about that? It told me I can't kill them. What is this? Oh. Another overturned cart, I guess. Lots of travelers have been attacked coming through these forests. Now I'm willing to bet we don't see ourselves on the map, right? No. But I can't quite make out the trail on the map either, which... Oh man, <laughs> I'm Little Red Riding Hood, all alone, lost in the forest but I think this might be the way back. I have to be careful not to get turned around. I can use the lake as a useful center point to figure out roughly where I am. I also truly love the idea of having to rely on landmarks. Okay, let's uh, let, let, let's make run for that bridge. That's how it always is going to be. Once you cross that bridge, my friend, the ghost is through, his power ends. And uh, here we are. Uh, we crossed... We crossed a smaller bridge just there, so... I'm assuming that it's implied that we're moving a little bit further from town than that. Now, Mr. Mayor, can you offer me any compensation? For making your woods just a small bit safer? No, you've got nothing to say to me. And let's go see. I'm not sure how much money we have now. But we currently have, okay, 84 coins and 14 silver bullets, but we are completely out of mana. I wonder if there's anything we can buy to help with that. And maybe we can buy a horse. It would certainly be a lot safer to traverse the woods, or at least faster. Now it seems like here we can buy items or books, which presumably are not single-use, and enable us to unlock abilities. 
For example, very easily we can unlock Iron Legs, which means we'll no longer receive any fall damage. I'll have to give each of these a read, but uh, unfortunately we can't get the Compass, which I don't think we super need at this moment. Uh, we'll probably get a Silver Bullets pack. Uh, you'll get 10 coins for every kill of an evil creature. Collect your reward from the mayor. Ah, oh, we need to buy that? Thought that was why I was here. Well, it's going to be a long while before I can work my way up to that, but it's definitely going to want to be one of the first things that I get. Uh, lockpick Master, which increases our lockpick chances. Uh, a lot of useful things, but we can't actually get a whole lot of that. And if anything, what we really need is the ability to get more mana. Now, watch our totem. When you place this totem, it gets placed looking at the current direction of a creature that you're hunting, giving you a hint about its position. Totem rotation does not get updated single-use only. Uh, while I'm learning the game, that doesn't seem very useful. What is that? Oh, I see. You guys, uh, I guess I'll call you embers for now. When you can see me, you drain my health. Yep. Or maybe it's just when I can see you. But if I can get close, using the trees as cover, uh, perhaps I can take a shot. Yeah, it's when you see me, not the other way around. Oh, this is just like a hunting sim. Make sure to hit the broadside to go for a double lung heart shot. Have your mana. Thank you, that's completely restoring it. Uh, this game is actually quite enjoyable for what it is, although we'll see how that holds up once we actually encounter the creature that we're hunting. Which my character didn't even really describe what it was. But right now I'm trying to head along that same path to find that same bridge, uh, just so I'll have that landmark. Should be right up ahead here. Yes, the log bridge. Only this time, we're going to continue straight across. There's that noise again. I think, yeah, it's those healing plants. But they're probably finite in number. And we don't want to waste them. Not when we have such high health. Now, it seems like the mechanic... Oh, there's somebody... It seems like the mechanic, when it comes to uh, those embers, is that we want to sneak up on them and then very quickly take the shot. Meaning that, you know, time is health. We don't want to spend a lot of time lining it up. Now we know that that creature is up on a hill somewhere. Yeah, and there's some fog down below. See, it has a health bar and everything. Looks very, very similar to the landscape that we're seeing right here. And is there something up ahead? Uh, see, there's so many little ob... Checks. Dotting the area. Can't go that way. There's a whisperer. I'm not really quite sure how to deal with them. Maybe uh, silver crucifixes? Which we could have gotten some for free. I probably should have done that. But oh, another undead. Yeah, okay. I seem to remember this game being a lot harder for the few minutes that I tried it a few years ago. They may have nerfed these more minor enemies just a bit. Because I remember dying left, right, center when I came out here. At least this way, I actually had time to look around and line up a shot, even if it is still quite quick. I've just kind of ended up following the same path as before. Only now, I'm more into the woods, which... There's such a lack of landmarks, it's so unsafe. We're no longer within 500 meters of that creature, either. We know about where it is, but we just can't access it without having to go through those unkillable enemies. And I don't know what kind of damage we'll do to its health bar, but I really hope we'll be able to make a dent in it with the gear that we currently have. Hello, what are you?
These look like offerings. Uh, perhaps it would be unwise to take them. I'm getting the feeling that doing that would not be the smartest thing. And may cause something to find me while I'm out here looking for it. I'll listen to the trees groaning in the wind. And everything moves so fast that you really do need to keep a lookout. I'll especially be in trouble if we run into some kind of enemy that doesn't have a sound cue. I really hope there's no enemy that doesn't have a sound cue. What was that? Oh, that's a big spider! Oh, and one shot wasn't enough. Oh, you're doing a lot of damage. Die. Okay, not everything will die in one hit. Unless we had just a bad shot on you and hit something non-critical. What is that? Can we take that from you? Consume healing egg. Uh, thank you? Thank you, spider. For reimbursing me the health you took? Uh, look at that, there's like shadowy black webs as well. In contrast to the ones that we can see, so it's kind of giving me the feeling as I walk through here that there's like cobwebs all over my face. Now what is this? Oh, it looks like they had some human victims. Also seems very much a trap. Uh, can I maybe cut through this? No, I don't need to, but I picked up four lockpicks, some valuables, and some more valuables. I do not feel safe here at all. Are more of these things going to come back? Uh, let's get out of here while we can. They've, got, they've done a good thing by making the game really dark. Not so dark that it's unfair and you can't see anything. Uh, but dark enough that you're constantly squinting ahead at what those shapes are in the darkness. And every sound means something, which is why it's all the better that the soundscape has so many little things built into it. Nope. Another spider? Something not wanting me to get close? I think there's something there in the tall grass. If we're to walk by, we'll have to be careful. I'm fairly certain that creatures must respawn. Oh, there's a fire in the distance. Maybe we can save there, but that creature, the beast we're looking for, is about. Has it spotted me? I'm afraid to use the sight jacking uh, mechanic for fear that I'll be powerless as I see it moving towards me. Certainly need to take it. It seems like there's some kind of creepy stonehenge over there that's got to be a host of some kind of evil. This game's making me superstitious. See some formation I don't understand? Must be the devil. Now where does that place us? Oh, we've navigated all the way to the top left corner of the map. Now, what's over here? Hello. Some kind of plant that shoots goop at us. Whoop. Ooh, you're crafty, and you have been shot in the head. Checkmate plant. This is why humans are the dominant species on Earth. Thank you very much. Because we have guns, and plants are trying, but they don't quite have guns. And a headshot will end you. We are, however, burning through silver bullets, which has me real nervous for what's going to happen when we finally encounter the beast. And I believe there are multiple boss monsters. This is just our starter villain. 
I've been under the assumption that it's going to be a big thing that we can't miss. There is an undead walking on that hill right there. The thing is, we don't actually know that for sure. Very, very quiet. I'm hunting zombies. How accurate is this rifle? That'll leave me vulnerable for a moment. Switch to switch. So, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, note to self they kill very, very quickly. I may not be equipped to deal with this thing, but luckily we're close enough that we can try again. If the undead o often overwhelm you, the monster shout skill can help. We may be unequipped for this. We may have to make a stop back in town. Uh, so I'm going to save my ammo. And instead head back up this hill, hoping to lure that thing out again. I imagine it was probably brought to me by the sound of my musket firing, which means... I'm not only vulnerable because I don't have a round in the chamber, I'm vulnerable because I don't have a round in the chamber and I've just alerted something to my position. Two undead up here and the creature. I'm not going to be able to reload in time. So how do I go about that? If I can maybe kill one and then back out? Where are they at? I don't even see them now. It seemed, in the brief glimpse that I got, to be some kind of dog creature. Which makes sense from the howls that we heard earlier. Uh, learn from Master Obi-Wan, we need the high ground. Not that it'll make much difference if my shots don't deter it. Or if I can't kill it in two shots. The whole top of this hill is completely dead, like nothing wants to grow here. The ground don't worry. There you go. Know. Something else coming. Anybody else? I could use the sight jacking mechanic, but when when we're this close, that makes me real nervous to try. Let me just loot your lootables. I can definitely put these things towards better things. Can heal here if need be. Uh, a free one becomes available in the trader shop for every 10 creatures we kill, so it's not just free. When you place the totem... Uh, okay, we already read about that. Uh, you're down in the forest beneath us now. I saw something glowing. Ah, you're now over by Stonehenge, but making your way back up. Okay, so we know the rough direction that you're in. It's close. It's close. There it is. There it is. And that is definitely a werewolf. We are officially dealing with a werewolf. Okay, let's sneak up on it. We still have the advantage for now. It looks like there's a couple of those weird plants over that way. I don't know how accurate this thing is, and we can't afford to miss, so I just gotta follow it. But it is moving quite fast. Oh, screw it. Let's just get its attention by running. Howdy! That did not do a lot of damage. But it is running off. So I think that's the ticket. That's what we need to do. Oh, wow. You guys work even at distance. Um, yeah, that's the ticket. We've got to keep shooting it, letting it run away, and then hunting it down again. Nope. There's another one of those embers between me and it. I wonder what they actually do when they retreat, or if its health is persistent. Can we leave and come back and try and do more damage? If so, that's very useful to us. Okay, so at least this thing is decently accurate at, like, short to medium range. See, I've always thought that was, like, the appeal of witchers, you know, in media. I mean, it's hunting with a horror slant. 
same as so many other things are just that genre, but with a horror slant. So many of the games I've played are simulators with a horror slant. Where are you? See, this is significantly more dangerous for me in the middle of the woods. And he blends in with his environment. Uh, this is what this is what the old stories were about. Walking down these dark trails through the woods to grandmother's house, all the while knowing that I'm out here with something that could very easily kill me before I even see it coming. There's the save point, there's the bridge, there's always that light at the end of the tunnel. If you can just run as fast as you can there, you'll make it out. It all goes back to these cautionary tales meant to keep kids from wandering off the trails. But they often persist into adulthood, and that's where mythology comes in. I want to save, but I also want to try to get another shot on this guy. Why not both? Maybe... Maybe it's worth firing a shot from the flintlock to get his attention? No. That's right. This way. Right here. Now run, sucker! I'm leaving for the moment, unless you decide to turn around and attack me right here and now. But, assuming your health holds up like that, I think we should head back into town and really increase our abilities. At the very least, get a crucifix. Okay, potion seller, I've come to see your wares. We can get a silver crucifix. Uh, we can get two. And afterwards, they'll cost 35 apiece. We now have 233 coins, which... Uh, do I save for the bounty hunter license? No, I think what we're going to do instead is we're going to invest in upgrades. Uh, health regeneration becomes twice as fast. Iron legs. Now, power of nature, healing plants start to restore 40 points of health, but I was looking at one earlier. 20% uh, more coins for valuable objects. We'll consider it. Weapon reload becomes 30% faster. Yes. Shut up and take my money. And I think also we'll get Shadow. Your visibility to enemies becomes equal to your crouched visibility. Crouched visibility doesn't change and is equal to 70%. Gotcha. And that'll just give us that little bit of an extra advantage. Where, because I'm, what I'm seeing so far is that success in this game depends on seeing them before they see you. And seconds count here because of the damage they do, so that's what it's going to all come down to. Owls are so cool, aren't they? I have always loved them. Never seen one in the wild. Now the critical thing at first is going to be figuring out if the health is persistent. Now, if it is, I have the absolute utmost confidence that we can do this. It's got... two bullets in it already. And if we can get a couple more... Ooh, you dropped valuables. If we can get two more, I think that'll be all we need to end it. Two or three. Because it seemed like we had taken a little bit less than half of its health during that first attempt. What we'll want to do, I guess, is... Oh, it's nearby, and... What, what is that? What is that? What is that? Black Phillip. Funny seeing you all the way over here. <laughs> now I'm starting to realize why 18th century peasants were so unnerved by these things. road forks here and it's running along the river looks like it's heading up towards the cabin and we see that the health is persistent and it's coming back this way so let's rush down there actually maybe not my best idea yes you're going to be rounding that corner very soon or coming up over the hill this is actually not an advantageous space for me to be there you are bang Oh, that was intense, but now you're going back that way. Alright, uh, follow him. 
We know that there's no monsters on this side for now. We can do this. We got this. Last time it ran back here, it was moving up and down this path. Stop it, birds. I don't need to be looking in the wrong direction at the wrong time. It's likely to be along this path. Maybe up behind that rock formation right there? See, if I choose the wrong side, it may be able to get the drop on me. And that's the absolute last thing I want. I'll be dead in seconds. Where are you? You're moving parallel to a rock face. Turning around now. So maybe if we get over here, we'll be able to see you? Can't tell which direction you were facing and which direction- there you are. Now, should I wait for you to come to me? Put out the cross, maybe? This crucifix. Come to me. Come to Papa. And that was a good hit. Lost a lot of health. But I'm not sure what it actually did. Oh, doggo. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Die. Oh, come on. Uh, I gotta go back and get those hits in again. Right here, buddy. Line up. And back. We're on our way. I just regret not being able to get a shot in as you ran, but... Yeah, there's always in a minute. Now it says that our crouch stealth doesn't actually change from this upgrade. It only makes it so that we basically don't need to crouch anymore. I know he's up here, on the left somewhere, but I don't like losing sight of him like this. I feel like I'm going to stumble onto him at entirely too close range. We're also moving into unfamiliar territory, which means there could be other threats around. Come on, this way, this way, this way, bang! And away he goes. Unfortunately, I didn't see quite which direction he moved in. And that shot may draw other threats like it did last time. I'm going to take this opportunity to save, if at all possible. If not, I'll hunt some other creature so that we can save. We've got him on the ropes now. We can do this. Hello. I'm actually happy to see you. I could use the mana. Not a whole lot, though, but maybe just enough that I can use the sight jacking ability again? Probably best not to use it too early. What are you? What are you? What are you? Come on! F, 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 what are you? What were you? Okay, I don't have ammo. Whew. Oh, and I don't- I don't get mana for killing you with a- with a sword. That's no good. Do I have the luxury of reloading? I have to try. Die. Yeah, that's the closest I've been to death without actually dying. Thank you, healing... healing plant. 55. Not a whole ton, really, for how rare you are. Not that you're rare, but you are gonna run out, right? Should reload my sidearm as well. Can't forget to do that. You're close now. Yeah, this looks like it may have been where we saw the thing when we sight-jacked it the last time. So perhaps we should place a crucifix here? Oh, 
Well, huh? oh, we, we, oh, you again! I hate these things so much. Ugh. Okay, now, but you dropped mana. Nope, 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 nope. No, you do not. In the least bit. Which leaves us vulnerable for a wolf boy. Not a ton of ammo left either, but certainly enough to kill it, which is all I care about. Unfortunately, I think what we really need at this moment is to just head, like, deeper into the woods here. Which I've really been trying to avoid going off the trails, but... Man, I don't know what else to try at this point. And the darkness is what makes this truly dangerous being here. This looks like it could be it, though. And that looks... like our buddy Black Phillip. Either that or another one of these... Demon dogs. Speaking of demon dogs, how's about it, buddy? Next round? I'm gonna have to have a round ready to take on that dog. Bang. And off he goes, and off you go. Okay, he ran off that way. It's important to see which way it runs. More mana. I'd really like to save. But I'd also really like to go after Wolf Boy. So close, I can taste it. Uh, this is what being a wolf hunter feels like, huh? I've always wanted to become the, uh... The bad guy from... What movie was it? I can picture him now. The little vampire movie with, uh, Jonathan Lipnicki. I feel like there was, like, a vampire hunter in that who was, like, this, like, really scary, like, grizzled dude for a kid's movie. <laughs> Okay. I will have your stuff. Now, will that draw a wolf? Not so. Uh, these hills are the most dangerous possible spot. If it finds me before I find it, I won't have a big open field worth of distance to react. Back up here, are we? And there you are. We can take him. We can do it. We can do it right here, right now, if he doesn't dip below the edge gotten considerably more dangerous for us. I don't know what the AI is like, but I really hope it's not baiting me into a trap right now. I mean, one way or another, it kind of is. Bang. No more howling. We did it! Yes! Oh, that is so sick! And after all that, it actually feels like such an accomplishment! After everything I saw in those woods, it became clear that this monster was created by a powerful witch that is settled in those woods. I did some research, and I think I know how to find and kill her. I've gathered some ammo for you. Don't forget to pick it up from the table. Thanks. A hundred bucks, that's it? I found like three times that just digging around in your stupid woods. Are you kidding me? Well, we can get more ammo. Can't carry any more. Well, thanks for the replenishment, bud, but I'm really not impressed by your offerings. What upgrades can we buy? I think I made the witch mad. Yeah, I could afford the compass, although... I may hold off on that because I have gotten pretty good, actually, at navigating just by landmarks. But maybe things will be a little bit more difficult going forward. Other than that, I don't really see anything that makes immediate sense, and uh, maybe I'll defer to you guys for what makes the best use of my money. Unfortunately, for as much as I am enjoying this game, both for the impeccable aesthetic and awesome gameplay that really makes you feel like you have to learn what you're doing, and makes you feel so accomplished for finally succeeding, I'm afraid I'm out of time and have to end it here. Until next time, uh, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.